Welcome back trainers, we're going to be taking a look at Shadow Mawwow. After going into the fighting cup consistently and dropping my score to around 2300 points, yes! I went that low in a frenzy to try to rise up and I started dropping using stupid things in the fighting cup. As much as I enjoy it, it is a little bit bland, so we're going to go ahead and bring it into the open great league here. and We're going to be bringing back an old team of mine. Got Shadow Mawile, Shadow Venusaur, and Purified Sableye, of course, with Return. This team has been imitated a whole lot, and there's a reason why, because it is an absolute beast of a team. Shadow Venusaur can just go and run over everything. Mawile is a very solid lead here, and then Sableye is just great coverage to protect them as well. So with that said, if you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Really... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. If you can do that, that'd be great. We have a good lead up against Ninetales. They're going to be swapping into Sableye here. And if you're not aware, I am giving away those 24 catchers. I did do the raffle, and now I'm giving them away to the loyal people of the channel. People that actually hit the like button and support me. So, it's a really good device. It goes for retails around 90 bucks. It stays connected 24 hours a day or until the battery dies. And if it is completely fully charged... It is going to be able to catch a bunch of stuff. So if you're like at a hotel or maybe you live around Pokestops or staying with somebody or in, you're in town or whatever the case at work in town, it's going to be able to continuously catch for you around the freaking clock. It's an amazing device. And no, you do not need the cable to connect to it to have it actually work. You can use it as a regular auto catcher as it is. All right, get into the commentary here up against Registeel. The leads today with the back line with these two Pokemon were absolutely Unbelievable. I don't know if it's because it gave me multiple 5-0s yesterday, or should I say zero fives, <laughs> multiple 5-0s. Yeah, okay, keep dreaming. But uh, it definitely felt like it was uh, trying to encourage me to play again. It was like, come on, we, we know you dropped, we know you were about to hit Legend, but uh, <laughs> give it another shot, buddy, you got this. And I'm over here like, <laughs> it's a little too late for that one. Uh, but uh, we're still going to have a little fun here with the... Shadow Team, all while putting in the work, letting that go. Not necessarily super effective. We're able to take out that Shadow Drapion. One to one shield. They're bringing in Gramble. I immediately swap into our Venusaur as we do resist the charm. So I'm going a little crazy here. I, I just built up to two of these Frenzy Plants. I guess that's pretty typical, right? They stuck a charm through, but we're able to take them out. We do survive with probably like one HP. We don't even need to hit any of these bubbles here. And we take the win with that Shadow Venusaur. So we're starting to rise up a little bit here. Actually, uh, what? positive all day today with this team and yeah so if i would have just went into the great league bring back my old team that we're seeing here we would have probably hit legend already all right next battle we're going to see in alteria this is always a good lead for the mall while here now there's multiple different ways you can play around this if you're going with play rough it's really up to you if you want to build up to all that energy it's going to cost a little bit more than iron head but it is going to be certainly one-shotting that Alteria pretty much so we're getting a shield going for the Iron Head. Now here's the game plan. If they do shield up that first one, it's not going to be... You, if you don't want to shield up anything, you will lose this matchup here. But before you do go down, you're going to be able to farm up quite a bit. Go for another Iron Head here. <laughs> we got a double shielder. So I immediately swap into Sableye, which is not typically something you would want to do is lock yourself in like this. Maybe if their shields are down, I suppose, but it looks like they're going to stay right where they're at. But the thing about Mawile is they would have gotten a little bit more farm than I wanted them to, so we're going to go ahead and swap. Hopefully we can get to this foul play, and we do just in the nick of time. So it's all going to be pretty much up to the Venusaur here. Mawile has no... It's not doing nothing. I can't... I don't even think I can catch with that. It would have to be quite literally the most, most perfect catch ever. And this game is too inconsistent for that about 50% of the time. So I do try to catch there. I was close! I was close! They're throwing right about now. What's in the back? Oh boy. What is... A, oh, a Stunfisk. Okay, if we can get to two Frenzy Plants, we should be able to take this win here. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> you can tell by the way I'm hitting those bubbles. Now, I'm getting... A, I'm thinking, that's no way. That's Earthquake. So they hit a Rock Slide. Let's go. They had to. They're just doing damage before they go down. They knew it was over. And Venusaur... Take it. I stopped tapping there. I actually thought I completely forgot about the Sableye. And then I started tapping again like, whew, that was close. So, Deoxys. This is usually a matchup that I would take myself out of. Bring in the Venusaur potentially. You don't want to go with the Sableye because they're going to immediately counter you with something like Charm or something. So we're going to go for the Iron Head. We're just going to get Shield Stay here. 
And I do believe we just let all this go. Rock slide. Unfortunately, they're going to be able to counter us down here, which is not great. They've already gained a bunch of energy, so I'm in a really bad position. But the game plan was to just bring in the Sableye here and just go to work. Farming down, yeah, we're going to be able to, I mean, sure, we can farm down, but they're getting to a Rock Slide and a Psycho Boost, but the Psycho Boost is not very effective. So we're taking that win and coming out of this with a bunch of energy and still in the green here. Going for the return, we got the Venusaur in the back. What are they going to have? We got a Scrafty immediately swap into our Venusaur after we did get their shields because Venusaur doesn't take any prisoners when it comes to that shadow damage. doesn't matter what you are. Even a Skarmory will get ran over by a Venusaur Shadow if shields are down and it gets a bunch of energy loaded up. So they have a wall right in the back. They swap into that. We take them out in one shot and Shadow Venusaur is going to be doing it again. Folks, this is... It's Shadow Mawile and then Shadow Venusaur. That is what we are over here. Next battle, another good lead, I'm telling you. Uh, Ninetales are going to be swapping into Diggersby, which does have Fire Punch. We don't want to go into Sableye because they're normal type and we'll be in kind of a bad position here. Uh, we could still do some damage, but I'd rather go in here with the Venusaur. Let the first Fire Punch go. They're not going to be able to farm us down with that quick move. Although they're going to be able to get to those Fire Punches at an extreme and spammy rate. So we're going to have to probably double shield here. If we get one out of them, I think I screw up here pretty bad. Okay, never mind. It's not the battle. So they let it go, which is great. They're going to be bringing in Sableye. Unfortunately, we're not getting to the freaking Frenzy plan, and they're farming us all the way down. So we could have... I uh, could have bring in the Mawile here, but we're going to go ahead and absorb that. And they swap, so we make the swap right when they do. Going for the power-up punch here. If we get the shield, this is going to be just... Oh, wait, that... now they back out. Okay, yeah, they said, nah, you win. That's pretty much uh, a, a wrap for me here. All right, moving on to our next opponent. Another good lead with the Galarian Stun Fist. Now, we need, do need to look out for Earthquake, obviously. That is going to be, yeah, taking us out in one shot. So it is the call that we need to make here, and we call it great. So that's a good thing here. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and start going for the power punches to vamp up that attack as well as do damage. We get a shield from the first power punch. I couldn't believe that. This is definitely a rock slide. Easily going to let this go. So we are vamped up and a decent amount of health. Still in the yellow, about to be in the red, and a Azumarill. So we got our attack up by one stage. Going to go for the Iron Head, which is still going to be doing a lot to the Azumarill. I screwed up here. I should have swapped into Sableye. I let them get way too much farm. That was just absurd. So it's a matter of do they even have Ice Beam? Play rough. They wouldn't go play rough if they didn't if they had Ice Beam. So they have uh, Hydro Pump, I would assume, right? So they're going to be bringing in their Skarmory into action. We have our Sableye up against it here. We are shieldless. This is looking very grim. We got a Venusaur in the back, folks. How are we gonna How are we gonna pull this off? This is not looking good. I'm gonna tell you how. The Venusaur, you remember, has energy. Oh, yeah. We just got the shield. That's all we needed. We will win CMP. <laughs> oh, my God. You see it happening. Going to take out this Scarver right here. Good night. And they're like, uh, back out. And I completely agree with them. I would have done the same. Looking good. Moving on to our next opponent. And we're seeing an Altaria. This is a good lead. I love it. All right. Sounds good. Sableye is okay, right? They have Moonblast. It could be, you know, doing some devastating damage. Although it's kind of a risk to go for all that. Venusaur doesn't want to go up against that flyer. Although we do have Sludge Bomb. This is just simply the nicest matchup. I mean, we're Fairy and Steel. We've got uh, four times resistance to the Dragon Breath. Then the resistance to flying as well. And then the Moon Blast. So we're looking great here. I'm going to let this go. Because we will be able to survive those uh, Dragon Breaths. No problem at all. Getting to another Iron Head. Do we have another Double Shielder here with the Altaria? Okay, they let it go. And we do win this matchup. Pretty incredible, right? It's because of that massive resistance that you're just able to take those Dragon Breaths. They go in with the Azumarill. One bubble. They're down a shield. Swapping into the Registeel when they see the Venusaur. And I immediately swap into the Sableye. Getting to the Foul Play before they can get to the Zap Cannon, of course. And they're using your shield. That's their last one. Now, we're going to let this go. You can survive, obviously. The Focus Blast, that cannon is not enough. And then the Lock-On is simply just not really going to be able to... I mean, they can farm you down, I suppose, but it's going to take a minute. We're going to be able to really dig in before we do go down, and they really can't afford to have that happen. So we're going to let this go. You're like, whoa, putting all your hope into the Venusaur. At this point, we already see what's happening here. Not too much hope, just so much damage. So we're going to take him out with a Frenzy Plant. Another back out with the Azumarill. This time, it does have full health. And we're freaking sweeping it up. I was literally kicking myself over the head like, what the freaking is going on here? So this is one of the few bad leads, but which we still have two counters to in the back. Although we're swapping and we're getting a Shadow Drapion, 
this is not the best position to be in. It could be worse, I suppose, with the charm user. So we're going to go ahead and go for a return here. I'm expecting a shield. Yeah, they're expecting it as well. So what's going to happen? Yeah, they go for their charge move here. And I think we just want to let this go. I mean, that would be kind of foolish for us to even shield it up. Bring in Mawile and see if we can take control. Now, if they have a fire user in the back, it's over. All right, let's just be real. Okay, it will be over for us. Because, well, both of the Pokemon that we do have are Shadow and Weak to Fire. So, yeah, they'll, down we go. So, we're not taking them out. One more Fire Fang. Down they go. We know they're going to be bringing in that Jellison. They got their own Shadow Venusaur in the back. Getting to the Sludge Bomb here. We still have two shields. All we have to do is outpace them. I'm expecting one here. There it is. That's their last shield. Now, what they can do is bait us here. But you have to remember that the Jellison doesn't have really much energy at all built up. Although, it has like a couple of quick moves. So, we have to keep that in mind. It could have an Ice Beam. Shadow Ball will take us out in one shot. Going for the sludge, taking them out. Let's go. Still holding on to one shield. They back out. We're getting another back out with the freaking Shadow Venusaur in the back and the Mawile in the front. This team is killing it, folks. Really is. After all this time, it's still holding up. I made it about a year ago. I, a little, actually, it's over a year now. It just says a year on YouTube. So, yeah, still holding up strong here. Next battle, we're going to be met with a Metacham, which is not particularly the best. So, we're going to go ahead and make a swap into our Venusaur, and they're bringing in Wall Rain. So they are going to be doing super effective damage, but we will be able to essentially one-shot them with the Shadow Frenzy Plant. If you're a regular Venusaur, it's not going to one-shot. If they're a Shadow Wall Rain and you're a regular Venusaur, you might one-shot them then. So we're going to go ahead and go for another one here, and uh, getting two shields out of them. See, shielding at this point would be dumb. Although, all that would happen is they would farm us down, and they would have a bunch of energy to take out our next Pokemon, and we'd have no shields. So we're going to bring in the Mawile. It's a bit of a kind of a... Uh, we're in a horrible position here. We're just trying to play the, you know, the cards we're dealt. And we will expect some sort of an earthquake here. And I do believe I've... Sorry, Mawile. Oh, we shielded up. Never mind. It's the wrong battle. Okay. So we're shieldless. Mawile stays alive. Looks like I'm frantically trying to bring in our Goblin, which is Sableye. And up against the Metacham. And they're throwing... What did they throw? Ice Punch? Psychic. <laughs> and they have a Needle Queen in the back. So we're going to go for the return. When shields are down, you hit that return. Doesn't really matter. Go for it. And one more, we should take them out. Oh, folks. This was looking horrible from, from bad to great. And Sableye should be able to finish this off here. One foul play plus a couple of Shadow Claws. And we take that win there. Thank you, Sableye, for that closing. Next battle, what are we going to see? Got a couple. I think this may be the last one here. Yeah, it is. Uh, Look at Tongue. Okay, so we resist Body Slam and Power Whip. And they're going to be catching a power punch and locking themselves in here. Look like an Azumarill. Oh, bring it on. Show me those Azumarills, please. I don't mind wasting that energy when you lock yourself in like that. Going for the Frenzy Plant, which is going to pretty much one shot. And yeah, no, it would. Okay, yeah. So they use their shield here. Do they have Ice Beam? Yep, they do. So we got to look out for that. Here is the real question. Do they want to double shield their Azumarill to maintain? And actually not even going to be able to maintain swap. Yeah, you might as well just let it go. Bringing in the Lickitung with energy loaded up here. Body Slam will be doing a lot of damage to us because, well, Stab plus we're Shadow Venusaur in the Great League. Going for a Frenzy Plant. Now this will be a KO if they let it go. Or not. Okay, I take it back. Bring it in. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm expecting, like, the Body Slam. Yeah, not very effective. It's still doing a decent amount. What you got? Metacham in the back. Oh, this is just beautiful, folks, because we got the Sableye. I'm telling you, I feel like after taking so many losses in the Fighting Cup, they're like... Come on, come on, come back, come back, come on, play a little bit. You know you want to. But anyways, thank you for watching, folks. If you did enjoy, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care. Hey! So you're finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!